Do you remember the early days of lockdown, March 2020, when Rishi Sunak had his honeymoon period, gave out free money to everybody, Boris Johnson said, we're going to look after you. They forgot about one thing. Governments are terrible at taking care of our money. They have somehow lost £5 billion in fraud. Yes, yet they're not really telling the truth. At this point, we have the media who are supposed to be holding the government to account. Instead, they are just a propaganda machine for anything that government says, Sajid Javid, Boris Johnson, they simply just ask for more. They're not really challenging them. Right now, there's a story that's not really getting any attention really from the mainstream media and we're still waiting for politicians to answer. The National Audit Office has discovered that 47 billion pounds was uh, spent dished out in the name of uh, these uh, bounce back loans and grants and everything else that government's giving out, just parts of it. There's a lot more obviously giving in terms of everything else they did, you know, the furlough um, scheme, the eat out to help out, and all the, some say, necessary support. I actually agree with if the government and state is forcing you to not run your business, for example, then because it's their responsibility, they do have to come up with a backup plan. I get that. The issue is government is very bad at running everything, including money. So we now have discovered that of that 47 billion pounds, at least 4.9 billion, so about 5 billion pounds, 11% of the loans uh, have uh, been stolen. They were fraud. Uh, people lied, including, we know, or not just those who just stole it, some just took advantage of it. We, uh, we exposed on this channel exclusively uh, that the Islamic centers uh, are controlled by the Iranian regime, who are funded by the Iranian regime. Uh, they set up a, a company's house, they set up themselves as a limited company as well as a charity to be able to take these free money from the British government and the British taxpayers. Now, they're saying that, you know, we're going to try our best to take the money back. They haven't really been able to uh, obviously recover much of it. It's just only like a few millions. This is getting bad because we now have the head of the National Audit Office saying that one impact of these decisions is apparent in the high levels of estimated fraud. The true level of fraud will become clear over time. But it is clear the government needs to improve on its identification, quantification and recovery of fraudulent uh, loans within the scheme. So they, they, they are talking about how even this 5 billion is not really all of it. It's just a little bit. Now, the government tried to recover some of it. Guess how much they managed to recover? £6 million. Pounds. Only £6 million pounds over three years. That's their target that they set up for their team to recover. Over the next three years, only get back... Uh, six million pounds of all the money so this is like getting completely embarrassing now because we know the, the, the figure is going to be much higher we know that a lot of people are going to get away with it yet what they're doing instead the government is they're going to impose more measures and which means more money is going to be wasted they've already said that they're extending a lot of the contracts and there is going to waste a lot more money on the testing system and a lot of other measures yet nothing's been done about this if you are on my side if you believe that this is actually getting out of control, then uh, definitely share this video and subscribe. When you subscribe to the channel, click on the bell next to it because that's the way, best way to get notified because otherwise our videos are not really getting recommended much these days anymore. Thanks again for watching. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.